A hundred years ago, the hot topic was the raid of a New Year's Eve party at the new Chase Hotel's fancy palm room. Okay, this is not film of the actual party, but you get the idea. Prohibition was in force and federal agents led by Chief Prohibition Officer Gus Nations came with a warrant to search for illegal alcohol brought into the New Year's celebration. The agents were not welcome and were outnumbered by the hundreds of guests. A riot broke out as revelers threw chairs, glassware, cutlery. And of course, the newspapers reported that the women screamed. Police reinforcements came and a city detective fired his gun injuring three people. An anti-prohibition group was demanding a grand jury investigation, charging that law enforcement officers were disrespectful and high-handed as they searched for liquor. The manager of the chase said the raid was illegal, that the warrant not properly obtained. One of the gunshot victims sued, and at the hearing, Prohibition Chief Gus Nations testified that he spent most of the time during the raid trying to disengage himself from a drunk woman who wanted to dance. Gus Nations had his backers and there was the opinion that prohibition should be the law for fancy parties on Lindell Boulevard, as well as taverns on Market Street. That was This Week in History 100 years ago, 1923.